Last week, Joe Klein, a writer for Time magazine, wrote this cover story about how, you know, usually when soldiers go off to war and they come back home, a lot of them suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. And he wrote this article saying that there's a way to curb that and maybe even and prevent that from happening for a lot of soldiers by getting them involved in volunteering and service projects. And hey, if he has a legitimate point there, that's a really cool thing. Let's get these soldiers active and doing work on the ground. And he gave examples of soldiers who helped uh, people in Oklahoma in the wake of the tornadoes there. And he even embedded himself with some of those groups there. And then in the middle of his column where he's talking about all this, he's talking about how all these soldiers and these groups are helping people of Oklahoma. He had just a little tangential comment where he said, you know, funny how you don't see any secular humanist groups, any, any organized secular humanist groups delivering hot meals. And then he went back to his column. And it's like, why did you feel the need to throw that in there? Because one, there were organized secular humanist groups delivering hot meals. And on my website, we, I listed a whole bunch of them. And not only that, there were non-organized secular humanists and atheists and people who are non-religious. And they all donated money if they uh, could do that, if they were far away. If they were in town, they donated their time and their literal, their body. Um, and they actually did stuff for the victims. So it was just this complete untruth that he printed in there. He didn't fact check. He didn't use Google. He didn't talk to any atheists or humanists, even though we were all out there. Um, so I was, I was offended, uh, partly as an atheist and more as someone who appreciates good journalism. Like, what are you doing? So, you know, I called him out on it on my website and called him out on it on Twitter. And a lot of people joined me on that. And then he issued an apology later in the week, but, but it wasn't really an apology. He said, you know, a lot of people attack me for saying there were no atheists there. Well, I didn't say there were no atheists or secular humanists there. I said there were no organized secular humanists and atheists there, which isn't an apology because there were. And we pointed that out again. And he didn't respond to that at all. So, okay, that's Joe Klein, he's a lost cause, but then you figure, okay, at least Time Magazine is going to issue some sort of apology, like, we're sorry this slipped through the editing process, we'll do our best to not let that happen again. And then when the most recent issue came out and they had a chance to apologize, Time Magazine said, you know, our writers said uh, secular humanists were less likely to be out there than religious people, and uh, both sides weighed in. It's like, well, okay, first of all, he didn't say they were less likely. He said they weren't there. That's a big difference. So time isn't even admitting what the problem was. Second, the rebuttals that they printed from our side said uh, it didn't address the issue. They took people out of context to say, I'm disappointed. Um, what, a, what an inaccurate thing Joe Klein said. But they didn't explain what the inaccuracy was. They didn't explain how it got in there. They didn't explain why... They didn't apologize for it. They clearly don't even know what the problem is. And it's just, again, it bothers me as someone who appreciates journalism that they would just not only make a mistake like that, but then refuse to acknowledge and correct that mistake. It's just pathetic. Um, so I don't know, I'm calling on people to, to stop their subscriptions. Um, I don't have one, but I'm kind of tempted to start a subscription just for the sake of canceling it right away. I just can't believe that that happened. My name is Hemant Mehta. I write for FriendlyAtheist.com. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.